Hi everybody, welcome back to the Rebel Chums channel. Today we have another lightsaber unboxing video. This is actually a replacement of the Saber Forge Reliant that I reviewed earlier. That didn't go so well. It actually resulted in Phil Isherwood, the CIO or the boss of Saber Forge, contacting me and saying, hey, sorry dude, I heard and saw your video and uh, let's sort it out. So I said, okay, thank you very much. Um, and uh, we had a discussion and some time later I've got this box so this should be uh, the replacement of the Saber Force Reliant. Now instead of the Saber Force Reliant this should be a Saber Force Dissident. Um, I just wanted to have a Dissident instead. So let's open up the box and see if it's indeed in uh, good shape. So I use my uh, standard box opener here I really have to get a box color the amount of box or unboxing I do on a weekly basis starts to uh, go to a new uh, level here so I need some better tools nice so first of all we got the instructions like always the usual stuff we got the Saber Force business card we got an Ellen wrench. Now we got one. Last time we didn't get one. And an empty box. Boop. A brown paper. Nope, nothing in there. And we got the lightsaber. Wow. First of all, um, it looks like they increased the amount of bubble wrap. There's definitely a lot more bubble wrap on this uh, than my previous sabers. <laughs> That's good stuff. This is good. I love this. I love good bevel wrap. Wow, they, I feel the sticky tape all around to so the duct tape, so they went all out. That's awesome. Okay, here we go. Now I hope I hope this saber is in the in the correct state, so no damage. And also, I hope it's in a uh, in a configuration that I requested. Okay, so this is the second bubble wrap with uh, the inscription "Dissident V2 War Warrior Tier No Glue." Warrior Tier? No, no, right? Did they upgrade me to a Warrior Tier? No, they didn't. <laughs> ah, jokes on me. Jokes on me. I thought, oh my god, they upgraded to a warrior tier for me. Cool. So we got here is a very nice looking dissident actually. It's a large hilt, but uh, very nice. It's uh, in the plain standard finish because uh, this time I went for the plain finish because uh, the the emitter section is already sort of uh, uh, weathered, as you can see here and i wanted to uh, try out some uh, weathering myself uh, so uh, a very very lovely uh, weathering job by somebody uh, done and i want to do that uh, myself as well on these parts here uh the leather grip is a lot darker this is chocolate brown this is not the lighter brown than uh, i was thinking of but still cool it has only one port for uh the switch so no recharge port. The uh, emitter is currently loose, but that's a matter of uh, tying uh, this retention screw. And we got a blade plug, just a standard blade plug with a uh, yeah shoelace slash wrap to uh, to make that Rome Rome Coda uh, lightsaber. Um, very cool, let me just open it up very quickly and then see if there's anything uh, funny inside and then we'll wrap up this video and then we have a full video next week regarding this saber and the inside yeah it looks clean sort of oh Okay, um, the inside still has 
uh, all the metal pieces, all the metal burrs from uh, screwing and uh, drilling the hole for the uh, was it cover tech wheel. Now this is just a matter of cleaning up for me. It's an empty, so I don't gonna make a big fuss about this. Uh, but uh, it's not cleaned. It's not cleaned in the inside. So you see the metal debris on my fingers there. That's because uh, that piece there, that hole you see for the uh, for the cover tech wheel, that has still uh, all the metal uh, pieces there. <sighs> so, um, at least I got my saber replaced. It's just a matter of cleaning up. I would. It would be great if it was clean already when I received it, so like no dirty stuff there. But uh, it's not horrible. Either way, um, everything looks like in tip-top shape. Uh, the leather wrap is on there. Um, it's wrapped. It's wrapped decently. Decently is that an English word? I don't think so, but uh, it has a decent wrapping. Um, slightly exposed piece but we're gonna do all that uh, we're gonna go over all that stuff in the full review for now I have to say this is a really cool saver I really like this design um, it feels nice in the hand it's not as chunky in the in the gripping area as I thought it would be uh, it feels uh, thinner uh, yeah absolutely thinner than I expected uh, it's a long saver it's also longer than I expected but then again um, it's a uh, it's an interesting design. I will see you in a full uh, video next week. So take care and stay scummy.